Hello, welcome to everyone in this video. This is the part 3 for the solution of CC8 that is Mathematical Methods 3 of the year 2023 Physics Honor under University of Calcutta. You can see this is the question paper, total question paper. This is question number 1 which already discussed in part 1. This is question number 2 and 3 which discussed in part 2. And this is the part 3 where we want to discuss question number 4 and 5. And then upcoming session will be continue question number 6 and then 7. So let's start. First question says a circular ring in xy plane moves along x axis with respect to an initial frame S with speed V. So this is a rest frame S and this is a rest uh, moving frame S prime with velocity V with respect to S. So that the shape of ring will be ellipse relative to S frame. So there is a ring in S prime frame circular ring that means its x directional diameter and y directional diameter are the same. But when we observe with respect to S then there will be length contraction along the x direction but there is no change in along y direction because the uh, uh, S prime frame is moving along the x direction. So there is due to length contraction the diameter of this ring with respect to S frame will be like that. But in with respect to Y frame the diameter of Ly is same as observed from S frame. So there the in this region there is contracted along X direction and uh, like that. Uh, when we observe from the S frame it will be like that. Uh, along the X direction this is contra const const contracted compared to the Y. So this will be like a elliptical shape right next question next question says s prime frame is moving with rest, uh, with velocity v along x axis with respect to s so this s frame uh, moving with velocity v with respect to s light is moving along x y plane uh, uh, moving in x prime y prime frame plane keeping 45 degree angle with respect to x prime axis with speed c so this is the uh, light with speed c with angle 45 degree using transformation of velocity component under the Lorentz transformation so that speed of light with respect to s frame speed of light with respect to s frame also be c speed uh, Lorentz transformation so that speed of light with respect to s frame will also be c so uh, you can see that is the u x from um, c by root 2 and this is c by uh, root 2 if z prime is 0 no z component Lorentz inverse Lorentz transformation says like that this is the inverse Lorentz transformation this is the uh, Lorentz transformation so speed of light with respect to uh, s frame is like that ux equal to dx dt so just uh, taking the dx is like that and dt is like that and dividing this one you will be finally obtain the ux ux is the uh, component of light uh, observed from s frame along x direction s frame along x direction okay uh, i think you understand this one just derivative uh, um, this derivative and divided by dt prime uh, upper and lower and put this value ux prime and Similarly, in case of uh, ui dy dt and dy is dy prime, dt is like that divided by dt prime, finally you obtain ui and uz is 0. So, you need to uh, check that is the with respect to s, the velocity will be like that. So, they are uh, addition of the component ux and uy. So, I think I need to add a page, okay. Just, just a minute. I want to add a page because this answer is incomplete. Okay, just just do this addition. So with respect to uh, with respect to S frame velocity will be like that. Velocity what happened? Okay. So speed of light with respect to s frame with respect to s frame velocity of light will be like that root under u x square plus u y square plus u z square u z is zero here only u x and u y 
प्रेजेंट यू एक्स इज सी प्लस रूट टू भी डिवाइडेड बाई रूट टू सी प्लस भी सी प्लस रूट टू भी रूट टू सी प्लस भी स्क्वायर प्लस यू वाई यू वाई इज सी स्क्वायर रूट अंडर सी स्क्वायर रूट अंडर वन माइनस भी स्क्वायर बाई सी स्क्वायर डिवाइडेड बाई भी प्लस रूट टू सी भी प्लस रूट टू सी स्क्वायर यू जेड इज जीरो सो दिस कॉमन दिस विल बी कॉमन दैट इज रूट टू सी प्लस भी इज कॉमन एंड दिस इज टेकिंग अ होल स्क्वायर हेयर दैट इज सी स्क्वायर प्लस टू रूट टू सी भी प्लस टू बी स्क्वायर and uh, here you can see this c square c to the power uh, 4 and this whole square gives you 1 minus v square by c square so what happen this is uh, root to c plus v and this is c square plus 2 root to c v plus 2 v square plus c to the power 4 minus c square v square क्लियर एक्चुअली दिस गिव्स यू सी यूनिट टू सी हार्ट देयर विल बी आई थिंक देयर विल बी नो मिस्टेक यू एक्स ऑल्सो लाइक दैट ओके आई थिंक देयर इज देयर वॉज नो मिस्टेक so if you common this c square so this gives you c this is root to c plus v uh this square here c square is 1 plus 2 root to v by c plus 2 v square by c square plus c square minus v square actually there is some mistake otherwise this will be c that is the this will be root to c plus v square this will be cancel out then it will be is there any mistake i can find here okay uh this is c by root 2 this is c by root 2 this is cancel out and this is c is in c root 2 gamma is 1 by root and 1 minus square by c square and this is c by root 2 Root two and the denominator c root two root two to cancel out c square. Hmm. I didn't get any error, but what is the mistake? Is there any mistake? I think there is no mistake. the uh, c root to c root to c root to c if you multiply uh, here is the mistake okay just write down ux is equals to if you multiplied by this is uh, c c root to so if you multiply by this is c root to this is c square plus b c root to divided by c root 2 plus v this will be the ux here is the mistake so this is c square v this is c square and this is v root to v c there is a missing of c so this gives you this gives you c and uh, this gives you this is C C is common. That is C square. Uh, 
that is c c here you take c is common that is c square from our c so this single c gives you that part and there there is uh, uh, c square comes out so this will be this will be c square since this will be c square so this is right on this will be c square minus v square so i think now this will be fine okay okay sorry for this error this will be c square minus v square so finally you will be obtain there is a c so this is c divided by root 2 c plus v and here you can see this is 2 c square and plus 2 root 2 c v and this gives you v square so this is root 2 c plus v square this will be cancelled out finally will be obtained c hence proof ok so i think clear about the calculation there was a mistake that's why ok let's continue next question says a particle of ma rest mass m naught relativistic kinetic energy 3 m naught c square strike a strike with a stationary particle with rest mass 2 m naught what will be the rest mass of composite particle there is two particle this is a rest mass m naught there is a rest mass 2 m naught its kinetic energy 3 m naught square m naught c square and there is no kinetic energy and this is the rest mass of the composite particle from the energy equation of the moving particle that is particle number one uh, if you consider this is particle number 1 and this is particle number 2 and this is composite particle in case of uh, particle number 1 the energy conservation is square equal to p square c square plus m naught square c to the power 4 so p i square c square that is the initial momentum of this particle is e square minus m naught square c to the power 4 put the value of total energy that is the rest mass energy this is the moving energy kinetic energy finally you obtain p i s value that is the initial momentum and since the momentum conservation initial and final momentum will be like that so this is the momentum of the composite material by energy conservation final energy of the composite will be like that its energy is m naught c square plus 3 m naught m naught c square this is potential uh, rest energy and this is the kinetic energy of the moving particle and for rest particle this is rest energy so finally 6 m naught c square if the rest mass of composite material is uh, capital m naught then the energy equation of this composite material will be like that total energy is 6 m naught c square uh, momentum will be like that and this is capital m naught by this calculation you can easily find out capital m naught is 5 small m naught clear next question says 4 velocity is defined this is the 4 velocity vector tau is proper time 4 acceleration is defined like that where uh, the scalar product of velocity 4 velocity is c square taking this notation so the 4 acceleration orthogonal to this uh, velocity and so the acceleration is space like vector so 4 velocity is defined is like that if you change the proper time with respect to time is this one this is the gamma c v vector this is the 3 dimensional velocity component 4 acceleration will be like that uh, this is the definition change into t this will gives you and after that derivative this one you will be get this one this is the acceleration uh, here is uh, given but you can prove this one just taking this notation this after that uh, this d gamma dt can be proved here you can see where you use here d gamma dt is proved here uh, this is a uh, calculation just you need to do so mu is like that and after that you just uh, taking the scalar product that is with that product this one and this one gives you uh, this c and c gives you this one this gamma square and this and this product this cancel out and this v dot product with this one gives this minus negative one and taking the gamma square common and a dot v is common finally you obtain this expression and taking this gamma square common from here you can easily find out this will be zero that means this is orthogonal to each other just uh, check this calculation you can easily understand after that uh, just uh, taking the scalar product of acceleration component you will be find out this one and you can see there is a negative uh, this is larger part negative larger part so this will be less than zero this is less than zero means space like you know this 
cone that is uh, light like and this within this cone time like and this plane will be space like next question says two events an initial frame s is this one this is ct1 x1 y1 z1 and this c t2 x2 y2 z2 they are time like separation with t1 greater than t2 so the temporal order remain invariant in any inertial frame s prime will be like that so two event is like that the separation of these two event is this one which is greater than zero as this is time like in other inertial frame s prime <coughs> if you take these two coordinate their separation will be like that and you know the lorentz transformation use this lorentz transformation is this separation since the separation is invariant in uh, in this uh, lorentz transformation these two are equal if you just put this value you can see this expression will be like that and this all are positive so this is positive that's mean this <coughs> is greater than that next question a four vector given by this one is is like time like what will be the component of s prime uh, which moving with the velocity v along x axis so four uh, four vector is like that space time interval is this one just calculating it will be 21 which is greater than 0 this is time like one if you taking this sort of component lorentz transformation gives you this information x prime y prime z prime t prime so the component along this is the first component is time component and this two x y z component so i think you can check this calculation <coughs> So this is all about me. This is my contact detail. This is my YouTube channel. So take care. We'll meet on the next video. As soon as possible. Thank you.